Um, so the first thing I started doing when doing this presentation, I, I thought, I'm going to actually look at how much this addiction and habit of Transmart of mine is. So <laughs> I was actually shocked. <laughs> so we, we put a lot of time just this year alone into Transmart. Um, so we spent a lot of time on the Postgres version and um, doing a lot of bug fixing for our customers that chose to implement that version. Um, we did a lot of um, testing on 1.2. Um, we were in the training session this afternoon on 1.2, so we put a lot of work into the training materials, and we have slide sets and a, and a manual that goes with it. Um, we've done a lot of demonstrations. Um, we, we call them Transmart tours um, to a lot of companies, a lot of biotechs, a lot of academics and foundations. And then we've also done a lot of um, free online training as well. So in total, it came to 54 days. That equates to $81,000 of, um, of missed opportunity. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're well into Transmart. It is an investment. It is. I'm, I'm going to see if it's tax deductible. <laughs> um, so we have a Transmart menu um, of the things that we, that we provide. So we're based around data curation services. Um, as we all know, you need good quality data before you can put it into Transmart, and it has to be Transmart ready. Um, and so we, we host Transmart on AWS, or we work with third parties um, like BT Global. Um, we provide integrations like Omicsoft. We're going to do MATLAB and SAS um, next. Um, we also do, um, develop our scripts and integrate our scripts. Um, we do ETL loading, so we take what's on the GitHub, um, and then we also um, make those faster, and then we also develop our own loading capabilities. And as I said earlier, we also do monthly support. So some um, customers, we either host and look after their transmats, or we've even come in onto their internal um, machines, and they've just given all that service over to us. So, you know, support our IT group, um, do the updates, do the upgrades, do the patches, do the training. Um, provide a, a support desk and the concierge service and that. So we've done that for customers. Um, and we've done training um, all over the United States and, um, and Europe. So as I said, our, our main focus has been data curation services. We work with all kinds of data, public data sets and internal data sets. I'll come back to public um, later on. Um, we've also merged into um, a lot of um, bioinformatics IT where we've come into people's infrastructures. We've um, extended their infrastructure. Um, we've taken legacy data. We've curated it. We've brought it into new infrastructures, including things like Transmart and NextBio. And then a lot of times when we've curated the data, the customer will say to us, we, um, we also don't have you know, analysts or they're really busy or they can't get to it for nine months. Can you do the analysis for us as well? So we've done all kind of clinical trial data analysis, patient stratification, biomarker identification, and so on. And then we're also going to um, add index um, to our supporting tool set as well. So I think um, many of you probably heard here from Dexter. So we're great at providing content. He's got Holder, so we'll, we'll be um, delivering data in index. And I think we'll also look at integrating index to Transmart as well. So that's on our roadmap. So we have a whole bunch of PhDs and MDs around the world, and they're basically, we're going into these kind of situations where, and, and you all know where that data is, um, where it's, some of it, it's just really messy. The customers don't know what they've got, where it is. It's on a third floor drive. It's on a thumb drive. It's on Jack's computer, Fred's. We, you know, Jack left two years ago. We're not sure. Um, and we come in and build structure around it. So we leverage ontologies that are out in the public domain, and then we supplement them. Um, we develop vocabularies and dictionaries. Um, some farmer have their own internal um, structures, but the majority of them don't. Then we harmonize and unify those data sets. So it could be public data sets like TCGA, GEO, CCLE, COSMIC, that will unify that whole world. Because as you know, each one of those islands is filled with islands of incomplete data. So we bring it all together, and then we'll layer on top of that their own um, internal data sets. And the goal with that is that if we bring it all together, we harmonize it, we unify it, we've got access to a lot more data, um, which should give us um, better quality results and um, hopefully be more statistically significant. So we've already curated a lot of these public data sets um, for other pharma. And, and I think I, in the content committee, I keep asking them if I can put them into the public domain. 
Um, so far, they've said um, no, but hopefully, if we keep going back, we can get them to do that and put it into Transmart. So we've created all of the TCGA data set, um, and then also we've put them into um, their versions of Transmart, so you can see that um, a third of the way up the slide. Um, we've also done pretty much most of GEO now. Um, we've done CCLE, we've done some COSMIC. Um, we're in the process of finishing off ADNI. Um, so a lot of the data sets have already been um, curated, so we, we can either come together, share costs, or get those people to agree to release them. And so as we make those data sets available, it's often going to several endpoints. So one of them is Transmart that we always support and we always deliver in Transmart. Some want them in OWL or RDF format for internal um, infrastructure. Um, we work closely with Omicsoft as well. It may go into Oracle or other platforms. So as I said, sort of like I think if we can share the cost of this, we can do this really cost effectively and, and get it out into the public domain. Um, we also do a lot of ontology and dictionary building um, when the customers don't have, have it, or it's based on the data. So if there's um, internal custom data, we'll build ontologies and dictionaries around that. But we also leverage what's out there in the, in the public domain. And again, a lot of these can be built um, quite easily and then you know, put out there for everybody to share and put them into Transmart. And that will also help with our um, content deliverables. So I wanted to put an idea of some of the, how much these things cost. They're not that expensive, and I know when we see big government grants that things take years and years and cost millions and millions to deliver, when in reality a lot of these can, things can be done for tens of thousands of dollars, and if people share the cost, it's, it's very you know, cheap and cost effective for, for everybody. And a lot of the things in this data world um, is pre-competitive, and that it's, we, we don't need to keep re reproducing it over and over again. Why, you know, why don't we just, sh just share it? So um, clinical ontologies can be built um, quite easily, leveraging what's out there and then adding to it. Um, we'd like to put an ontology together, um, a drug thesaurus, and we, we have some of the things um, that we can announce later um, where we are building things that we are going to put in the public domain. So Rancho Bioscience is essentially a fee-for-service business model at the moment. Um, we don't own any data. We don't own any tools. Um, we basically wait, work with um, public source, um, open source tools, public domain um, data, and our customers' internal data. And our goal and job is to show um, value and, and knowledge to them. So we really love cleaning data. And when we go into most pharma companies, they hate doing it. And when they see us, they're very joyful. They're like, you actually like this? And we're actually excited about it. We really love curating data and that. So we'll clean, up, clean it up. We'll go around. We'll find out what you have. We'll scrub it. We'll clean it. We'll make it useful. So you can do the fun stuff, which is the analysis. <laughs> and as a result, our company's growing really, really rapidly. <laughs> and I'm going to steal um, from Paul and we're also hiring. Um, we, we're growing at a crazy rate. So we're, we're looking for data curators um, all over the world. Um, they can live where they want to live and that, but um, we, we need to add a lot more people. So if anybody knows anyone, please have them um, send their resume to me or Tanya. And we're going to be doing the training right after, um, after this meeting. So um, that's our contact information. I want to thank the foundation for inviting us. I think it's been a fabulous meeting. I think we've achieved a lot, and I'm looking forward to giving the results in the next few monthly meetings as well on the, on the content committee. So thank you. We need more janitors in this world. What, what kind of background do your curators have? What do you mean? Um, everyone has a PhD or a PhD in an MD, and they are usually um, the cell biologists, oncologists, neurologists, immunologists, and that. So they always have some um, focus core competency in a, in a disease or biology area. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We have some brilliant people. We have a fabulous team. Great. Thank you. Uh,